Hi everybody, it's Donna here from Purple Pinky Promises. Thanks for joining me. And we have a Christmas card project up here. And the star of the show is the Lunar Paste. I have some techniques to show you today that I think you're going to find fun to try. So we're going to start out with this Minty Fresh Lunar Paste. And I'm going to go through all the project products that I use in this at the end. And I'll also have them posted as well. All right. So I start out <laughs> trying to be detailed and nice and pretty and neat. And I decide that, yeah, that's just not me. If you know me, you know what? I don't do nice and neat and fast and simple is actually my game. So... I just decided to give a whirl to what I saw Simon Hurley do. He's taking his finger in there and he's just dipping it and wiping it on there. And he actually layers colors. I didn't do that with this one, but I actually want to give that a try at some point in time and layering this lunar paste in different uh, colors. So it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And I discovered several different techniques that really work nicely with this lunar paste. Of course, stenciling is a great way to use it. Painting it on is a great way to use it. But I um, discovered something else. And that's what you're going to see here. You can cover this with the, your die cuts with this. And it turns it into this shimmery yumminess that dries very quickly. And it, it looks like pearlized paper. So you can turn, and it's so smooth and so easy and is so nice to work with. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So I highly recommend that you give this lunar paste a try. Um, now I'm going with the base sting here. And I'm covering my um, pomegranate, my basil pomegranate paper. And that first, um, that first cardstock, that piece of paper that I used is actually a Spellbinders uh, piece of cardstock. And it is the uh, fern, color of, it's fern from Spellbinders. Nice uh, cardstock to use for this. And... This lunar paste kind of does give it a little bit more bite. It makes it uh, a little bit uh, stronger once you cover it. So really pretty. Now I'm gonna layer this up. I'll have the measurements for this in the description for all of these different layers. So um, this the actual plaid part of this covers the whole front, the A2 front. I do want you to notice don't forget, I always forget to do this, but you can use the center of your um, card front to die cut. I die cut the poinsettia out of that um, background there. So don't forget to do that. I always forget. Don't waste your paper. <laughs> All right, don't waste your cardstock. So I'm layering up this little poinsettia. I will uh, go through where I got this from here at the end. It's actually not hit the store yet. But it will be soon. These dyes um, are Spellbinder dyes. And they, um, the flower and the leaves, or the poinsettia and the leaves, are all from that set that will be here in a jiffy. By the end of the week, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that is actually going to be the case. All right. Uh, little tip here. Use your tape. Um best craft tape ever from Spellbinders. Um, sometimes when all my dies are still stuck inside the die, I'll just take that tape and I'll just put it on the back side of my die and it comes right out. And now I have all, especially when there's tiny pieces, it's nice. Otherwise I'll pick it up with my, my craft tape and uh, set it on there so that it doesn't go flying everywhere. All right, so now we have our sentiment die cut and we're putting our greenery together just making our floral arrangement and this is a pretty quick and easy project this is a fast and easy card but it packs a lot of shine and shimmer 
I really, really love the way this card turned out. It is actually quite elegant and stunning. Okay. Layering that up, decide, nah, I want that there. <laughs> and I'm going to pop on some foam, double-sided foam adhesive on the back of that poinsettia and leaves. Uh, once I put my sentiment down first, and I just glue all this with my, um, I glue the sentiment down with my Barely Art glue. Um, yep, best glue ever. <laughs> and I'm not saying that just because I sell it. I only use this liquid glue, just to let you know. All right, holding that down, it stays down. And now we're gonna put that on the, the floral on here with the double-sided foam adhesive. And I decided that I, this needed a, of course it needed a little more shine and shimmer and sparkle. <laughs> As if it didn't shine and shimmer and sparkle enough. But I decided to take a rabbit trail first. I wanted to try this lunar paste and see if it would dye my uh, seam binding ribbon. I just put a little bit of water on it and I just slide it right on through my little uh, spot of lunar paste there. Spread it out, just keep on spreading it out. You'll see what I'm doing here. And I, I smooth it on, I keep going, smooth it on. And guys, this stuff will work on your seam binding. <laughs> you can dye your seam binding to match the lunar paste that you've used in your project. Yes. And then I'm going to show you something else that it does. I don't end up using this because it just didn't really fit with the bra. I was planning on it, but I couldn't resist giving it a whirl. I'm letting that dry, and we'll come back to it. Now I'm going to put on my gems. These are the self-adhesive gems from Spellbinders. This is the opal. These are newer to spell Spellbinders, and they're just beautiful. They shine and shimmer, and they are, oh my gosh, the facets on them are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I was kind of going for like a little drop, few drops of snow here, snow drops here, snow drops there. That's kind of the look I was going for. I actually kind of surprised myself, folks. I ended up doing these really quick. That's so unlike me. Maybe I'm getting into the, the hang of this. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, now we're going to go back to that ribbon here, folks, because I, I took the heat tool to it. it. Look at that shine and shimmer on this card. I'm giving you a close, closer, uh, close up look at it. It's so pretty. So, so pretty. And now I'm adhering it to the front of the, uh, or to the, uh, yes, the front of the card base. It's just absolutely so, so beautiful. Yay. Okay, so now back to this ribbon, the surprise of the show here. <laughs> it does stiffen it up a little, and I think that using the water helps it not be so stiff. So that's a kind of an important thing to do. So I'm from, you know, shoring up my ribbon here, but guys, I discovered something, and it didn't make it impossible. So make sure you put a little bit of water on that ribbon. And just spread it on out. It'll work great. When I cut the tails on this, I discovered something. I went, wait a second, that's not fraying. The edges do not fray when you use this. So it kind of like acted as a glue to stop that fraying process. And as you, I see, all seam binding does this, guys. It will fray a little bit at the edges. Okay, and now we're getting on our um, powder to stop all of the static from spreading our um, embossing powder everywhere. 
and we are using some um, Ranger super fine detail gold embossing powder and heating that up, melting it down, running it through a die cut, and we're going to finish off this card. And there it is. I tell you what, I get a lot of mileage out of these Dare to be Artsy mini border dies. They are such a great sentiment friend. Okay, and they come in several different sizes, so they work very, very nicely with different size sentiments. And I'm just trying to line this up to where my double-sided foam adhesive doesn't hit the, um, the die. It just actually goes in between those dies so that it doesn't look bumpy and lumpy. All right. Yay! We created a card! Woohoo! Fun, beautiful, and learn some new techniques. Yay! All right, let's go through these uh, products. The Mini Borders die and the Oversized Mary. That's a combo with that uh, die, the Mary die, and the Mary uh, on all those sentiments. So that add-on sentiment comes from that same set. And then we have the Opal uh, Self-Adhesive Gems. And here's what's coming in. It'll hit the store later on this week. The Holiday Blooms, Spellbinders Holiday Blooms. Look at all of those dies, folks. Wonderful and yummy. And then, of course, we have the Evergreen Embossing Folder. And we have Happy Christmas from Cartabella. That's the paper that we used in the background. And our Lunar Paste, Bee Sting and Minty Fresh. Embossing Powder from Ranger, the Super Fine Detail Gold Embossing Powder. Of course, you have to have that Versamark to go with it. And my ever-loved Barely Art Glue. I'm giving it a hug. <laughs> All right, guys, take care and thanks again for stopping by. We most certainly appreciate all that you do for us here at Purple Pinky Promises. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.